gives this woman to be married to this man Genesis chapter 2 verse 18 tells us that and the Lord God said it is not good for man to be alone in Ecclesiastes chapter 4 verses 9 and 11 we see again this two are better than one because they have good return for their labor if either of them falls down one can help the others up but pt anyone who falls and has no one to help them up also if two lie down together they will keep warm but how can one one keep warm alone this evening spicer church would like to welcome jojo and babli and all the relatives immediate family and the relative who have come here to witness and to support this holy matrimony we wish jojo and babli god's blessings as they tie the knot today in order to begin our service we will sing the song that has been printed on the program sheet o oh, perfect love let us remain stand reverently bow down our heads and close our eyes as we seek the lord in prayer it's my happy privilege to introduce the bridegroom mr jojo elboas 
He is the eldest son of Pastor T. Boas and Mrs. Lily Boas. He completed his bachelor's and master's degree in agriculture engineering from Agriculture University in Kerala. He is now about to submit his PhD thesis in Agriculture University in Dindigal. He started his professional career as an engineer in charge of Kerala for Jain Irrigation System Limited. Later spent eight years as a lecturer in Eritrea, Department of Agriculture Engineering. He is presently serving as the Agric Agriculture Engineering Consultant for Kalal Agro Processors Limited, Uganda. He has shared authorship in five technical books and several research articles published. He has received several awards for his former application-oriented developments in the area of farm machinery design and development bioenergy en robotics and drone technology in agriculture. He has a sister, GGL Boas, who completed BSc Nursing from Surat Adventist Nursing College. Her husband, Foyken Jones, who is a mechanical engineer, and two lovely children, Joanna and Jonathan, they are working in Brunei. I know him from his childhood as a young boy growing up. I am his cousin brother, so he is a very jovial, fun-loving person, likes to socialize. When we are with him, he is a lot of fun. He loves to talk a lot. He is a very kind-hearted, empathic person. His hobbies are reading, writing, playing, cricket, traveling all around the world and wildlife biography. I think that's why he's in Uganda. He's a very brilliant person, so I'm very humbled to introduce him. He's very technically gifted and he likes to innovate a lot. I wish him God's richest blessing, guidance and everlasting peace and prosperity as he starts his new life with both of you. Thank you. The scripture re reading is taken from <clears throat> the book of Colossians, chapter 3, verses 12 to 14. Put on, therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, bowls of mercies, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long-suffering, forbearing one another and forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against any, even as Christ forgave you, also do ye. And above all these things, put on charity, which is the bond of perfectness. May God bless this scripture as we <coughs> witness this holy matrimony. This is 
Cause he'd choose us In a hundred lifetimes He'd choose us In a hundred worlds He'd find us And we'd say we do For the rest of our lives With all Every day, every moment, every breath we take, we'll choose you. Mr. Jojo Boas and Miss Babli Gaware. This evening, I feel very close to both of you because Jojo, while you are an agricultural engineer, I am an agricultural meteorologist. Babli works in the university as a staff where I am the vice chancellor. What a unique privilege to speak to both of you at your wedding this evening. This evening, you both have come together in the presence of God and in the presence of your family members, relatives, and all those who are watching online to be married. However, though I see both of you standing in front of me, I consider it incomplete for the pastor to conduct your wedding this evening because marriage is a triangular relationship. A relationship between husband, wife and God. This evening I want to present Jesus Christ, creator of the universe, as a person who can complete the requirements of a wedding where Jojo, Babli, and Jesus can make a happy home. In Genesis chapter 2, verse 24, it is written, Therefore a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife and they shall become one flesh. This evening the word of God as read in Genesis chapter 2 verse 24 talks about leaving and cleaving. God made woman different from man so that man and woman would uniquely compare complement one another, working together as image bearers to all creation. Yes, Jojo and Babli, the Bible says that at marriage, both of you need to leave some things in life and cleave together with Jesus for the glory of God. And when you cleave together, what do you cleave to? 
in the book of Ruth, chapter 1, verse 16 and 17, it reads, From wherever you go, I go. And wherever you lodge, I lodge. Your people shall be my people, and your God, my God. And there will be no difference between both of you, because the Lord shall always be with you. As you leave various things of your life, cleave together, just as Ruth promised to know me that her God shall be the God of Ruth. It's so nice that both of you have decided to get married on this important day in the presence of God and in the presence of these witnesses. But as you both decide to get married, let me remind you that marriage cannot promise you a life of sunshine. A wedding cannot promise riches, wealth, or gold. It cannot promise you an easy pathway that leads away from change or growing old. But it can promise you both each other's heart's devotion. A smile to carry away your tears of sorrow. A love that is ever true and ever growing. A hand to hold in yours each tomorrow. With God on your side as you join together and cleave to God, our Creator. Remember the promises that are given in the book of Ephesians, chapter 4, verse 32. It reads, And be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, even as God in Jesus Christ forgave you. Each one of you and both of you need to submit yourselves to one another. Show your love to each other so that what is written in the scriptures and which was read during the scripture reading may become true in your life. Therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, put on tender mercies, kindness, humility, meekness, and long-suffering. Bear with one another. Love one another. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching, and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. Jojo and Babli, and whatever you do, do in word or deed, do all in the name of Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Yes, when I read in the book of Genesis, I said that you need to leave many things in life and cleave together in God. But before I close, I would like to remind both of you Take care of your parents. Love your parents. They have sacrificed a lot for you. And if you honor your parents, God will bless you. And your life on this earth will be long. Your marriage will be happy. And you will be ready to establish a new Adventist home with Jesus Christ. So that when Jesus comes the second time, you will be eligible to enter into the heavenly kingdom that Jesus is preparing for you. May God bless both of you. Jojo and Bubbly, whom I fondly call as Mona because her family members call her as Mona. And I have known her for many years now, been to her home, and uh, what a joy it is to see 
mona and jojo stand in the presence of god and in the presence of the witnesses to pledge their love for each other as husband and wife you have been admonished from god's word today beautiful words and uh, this afternoon i hope that uh, you have recognized uh, being here in this church taking your vows as husband and wife is a very sacred uh, ordinance marriage is a sacred ordinance and i believe that uh, you both have recognized the sacredness and the significance of uh, being in the presence of god and in the presence of the elders and the witnesses here to pledge your love for each other so today i am very very happy to be a part of this wedding and i believe that uh, the lord will bless both of you and as was rightly pointed out this is a three pronged relationship a relationship between jojo between mona and between god and this is a relationship that god would be the center of this family and i believe as you take your pledge in the presence of god today that god may bless both of you and guide you and direct you as you begin your life together and so i just would like to ask both of you a few questions and uh, i'd like you to respond i would first ask uh, jojo and now solemnly promising before god and in the presence of these witnesses will you jojo l boas have this woman bubbly wilson gaware to be your wedded wife to live together after god's ordinance in the sacred estate of matrimony will you love her comfort her honor her cherish her in sickness and in health in prosperity or adversity and forsaking all other keep yourself only unto her so long as you both shall live do you so declare in the presence of god yes i do thank you will you bubbly wilson gaware have this man jojo l boas to be your wedded husband to live together after god's ordinance in the sacred estate of matrimony will you love honor and cherish, uh, cherish him in sickness and in health in prosperity or adversity and forsaking all other keep yourself only unto him so long as you both shall live do you so declare i do thank you very much that's it can we have the wedding sign and the mantra code you have mantra code who is bring that before the couple pledge their love for each other in the presence of god through the wedding symbols that they have chosen there is a bit of uh, tradition that is also followed i think it is a tradition of the kerala culture of uh, jojo bowas uh, and at this time they are going to he is going to place the mantra code on uh, babli after which we will have uh, uh, the thali that he will tie tie and after which they will have the exchange of rings before they participate in this ceremony let us uh, have a prayer on this symbol father today our hearts rejoice as we see this uh, wonderful couple in the presence of god in your presence and in the presence of the witnesses as they pledge their love for each other we thank you lord for uh, the reminder of uh, a symbol that they have chosen the thali the rings i pray in a very special way you will bless these symbols 
these are mere symbols of the real love that they have for each other and this afternoon lord i pray in a very special way you will seal their love for each other and bless them that they may walk through life as they have just pledged through sickness or in health in adversity or prosperity in good times or bad times that they may learn to cling to each other so long as they both shall live and so bless these symbols and seal their love for each other because we pray in Jesus name amen Okay, at this time, I think you would have to unveil your bride. Okay, thank you very much. We will have the uh, tying of the thali at this time. they will now exchange rings go ahead For as much as Jojo Boas and Bubbly Wilson Gaware have consented to be joined together in the holy wedlock and have witnessed the same before God and this company of believers and thereto have given and pledged their truth each to the other and have declared the same by the joining of hands, I as the minister of the gospel on the authority of God's word and the authority vested in me by the laws of the state of Maharashtra, do pronounce you both now husband and wife. What God has joined together, let no man put asunder. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. At this time, the couple will go and sign in the government register that is placed here after which you will return back here when we will have a very special consecration prayer for both of you.
request the couple to come over here and we will have a special dedicatory prayer for Mr. and Mrs. Jojo. At this time I also would like to request the ordained ministers 
who are on the stage to join me as we have the prayer, especially Pastor Boas, if you could join us, it is such a blessing that you are here, where you can bless the children who have just got married. Kindly kneel down, and as you kneel down, we will offer a special prayer for you. While I offer prayer, I request the ordained ministers to come close and lay your hands on Jojo and Babli as we pray for them. Let's pray. Gracious Father in heaven, we place our hands on Mr. Jojo and Mrs. Babli as these two have been united in marriage. We as a church dedicate them to thee for thy service. Bless them, O Lord, as they continue to reflect the love and life of Jesus Christ through their married life. Father, we praise and glorify thy name for Jesus Christ whom you ordained to be united with thy church. As per as the teachings of the Bible and the doctrines of the Seventh-day Adventist Church, these two young persons, Jojo and Babli, have been united in marriage, Father, be with them. May Jesus be the center of their home and life so that they can reflect the love and life of Jesus to all those who come across them. Be with us, O Lord, as a church, as an institution, and as a family. Help us to pray for Jojo and Babli so that they will enjoy and have a happy married life for thy glory and honor. Continue to be with them. In a special way, Lord, we dedicate them to thee to safeguard them from the temptations of Satan. And we have faith, O Lord, through the grace of Jesus and through the guidance of the Holy Spirit, you will be with them as long as they live. Bless all of us in a special way. Jojo, Babli, and their parents, friends, and relatives. For all that we have prayed, we ask in the name of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. In every wedding, there's a very beautiful exercise that we do, and that is lighting the unity candle. And it signifies of two souls coming into one. At the same time, it also signifies that the home that you will be establishing will be a home where Jesus will be the light, and you will be the light to your neighborhood and to the community around. And so at this time, I would like to invite uh, Jojo's mother, and uh, I don't know if Babli's mom or somebody from the family can come and join us here. We will do this. They will take the candles, light the candles, and then give it to the bride and the bridegroom. And then they, together with the family members, will light the unity candle, right? Uh, where are the candle girls? If I can have your candles, please. Yes. Uh, Jojo's mom and somebody from um, Babli's family, yes. All right, that's great. Yeah. Um, please give to auntie. And then, yes. Yes. Okay, and then we will, we will move towards this side, towards the unity candle. And Babli, you take from your mom. Joe, you take from your mom and then light the unity candle together at the same time, okay? Not one after another. 
<laughs> okay, we'll move towards the unity candle there. We praise God for this beautiful service. God's presence was very much with us. I think before the closing song, there is a garland that they will exchange. They will adorn with these beautiful flowers. And may these flowers be the symbol that adorns them throughout the rest of their lives. Okay, we'll ask the couple to uh, exchange garlands at this time. You can decide who wants to do first. Shall we all stand up for the closing song? <clears throat> instituted this beautiful marriage institution. Lord, happy the home may be, the home that Jojo and Babli will establish. May it be the home where you would love to dwell and the home where you will always be the invisible guest. Lord, fill their home and their hearts with your love. And Jojo and Babli, as you go from here and step into a new chapter of your life, go in faith, for God has promised to be with you always. May God always walk before you. May God always guide you, direct you. May God always provide you with the things that they, you need. May God always bless you with the material things, with children, 
and with life and love. But above all, may God prepare you for his kingdom. And now I pray that the love of God, the grace of Jesus, and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit be with you now and forevermore. Amen. Uh, you may be seated. I think we have the vote of thanks, and then we will. Good evening to all, and uh, it's my happy privilege that on behalf of uh, Gawari and uh, Bovas family, I would like to thank each and every one of you for gathering over here and uh, uh, for this uh, occasion, the event which has taken place. Uh, I sincerely uh, like to thank uh, Dr. Sanjeevan Arsud, the Vice Chancellor. Thank you so much, sir. And also, I would like to thank the ministers uh, on the stage. Thank you all, the ministers. <coughs> also, I would like to thank SEO administration, the Spicer Church, AV uh, people, the pastoral staff, the uh, relatives and family members, and family friends, uh, well wishes, uh, Faith Studio uh, team, uh, for the photography and also uh, Miss Selena and Miss uh, Priscilla for program coordinator. Uh, to uh, thanks to uh, Dr. Uh, Sanita and her daughter for the music. Uh, also, uh, last but not the least, I also would like to uh, thank Gaware and Bovas families for uh, gracing, gracing us with this uh, celebration. Uh, to uh, bridal parties. Uh, in case if I have uh, missed to uh, mention uh, any name, uh, please uh, know that we are very thankful to all of you and your support. Thank you so much. Well, Ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment. And I would like to, you have not seen them, right? So I would like to request them to turn around. Please turn around and let them have a look at you. And I would like to request, this, uh, this will be the, uh, the, the, the um, procedure of the recession. And that is the bride and the groom will go out first, followed by the party and then the ministers and then the rest of us can follow. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my honor and pleasure to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Jojo Boas. Please put your hands together. And we may have the music, yes. I'd like to request all of you to rise as a mark of respect and joy to join them as they proceed, yes.
praise the lord good evening to all i would like to wish my brother and our beautiful chetati a wonderful life together uh, we really wanted to be a part of your great day but we were not able to but still i would like to thank our almighty god for his guidance throughout your day we as god's children we don't have to worry about anything we serve a mighty god who neither sleeps nor slumbers and who watches over us and cares for us no matter what situation we are he loves us the same he never judges us Uh, God's word in says in Romans 12:10 be devoted to one another in love honor one another above yourselves let this verse always be in your hearts as you begin your life as a couple may the almighty bless you guide you protect you and be with you all the days of your life and may you both cherish each other as you begin your life together thank you hello i would like to wish uh, jojo and mona a happy married life uh, we were very eager to come and participate in the wedding but due to circumstances we were not able to join however our prayers and best wishes are there for you may god bless your married life with a lot of joy and happiness thank you i would like to wish jojo uncle and mona aunty a blessed and happy married life may god bless you in all ways keep both of you safe and happy forever amen thank you we wish you marry happy life jojo uncle and mona aunty thank you Hello, Joe. Happy marriage, Joe. Wishing, wishing you a lifetime of love and happiness. Have a nice day. I am really happy to share my happiness with you right now. I hope things will uh, will go as per your expectation. God definitely will support you. You both deserve each other. Have a good time. And God will uh, provide our good health and wealth and uh, the expected life also. Thank you, Joe, for giving an opportunity. Bye. Dear Jojo and Bapli, God's blessings on you for a happy married life. Read St. Paul's epistle to Corinthians and what he says about love. I'm not saying about it because you need to read it before you start a new life. Love never fails. Always be in love. All the best. Praise the Lord. I am very happy to hear that. Jojo Elvavas, my close friend and junior colleague, is getting married. So he was one of, I am Dr. Babu Matthew, retired professor of agronomy from Kerala Agriculture University and I retired from, from Kerala College of Agriculture, Velayani. So Jojo was a product of Kerala Agriculture University. He was studied with us 
for B.Tech and M.Tech and now he is pursuing Ph.D. in Gandhigram University. So he was also my colleague in Northeast Africa, Eritrea, in, with the Ministry of Education in a war hit country. So we, we, he worked very hard to, to the build up of the country along with us and now he was with a Kalal group of Ag uh, Agro in Uganda and came back and, and pursuing PhD, compl almost completing his PhD course. So he was, he was a very hard working person, uh, gone through a lot of hard time and struggles, but still upright with God's grace. So I wish him all success in his married life and also the bride. Congratulations Miss Bubbly and Jojo. Kalal Group wish you happy, joy and loveful married life. Thank you. Dear Jojo and Bubbly Wilson, so glad that God has joined you together as husband and wife. Super congratulations. I wish you both best wishes on your wedding day. Wishing you a lifetime of love and happiness. May the good God bless your family to be a blessing to many others. God bless you. Happy married life. Dear Bubbly and Jojo, Hebrews 13 verse 4 says, Marriage is honorable among all. You both are united according to God's plan. Therefore, be submissive to one another in God. Bubbly, you got a new family to experience God's love and expect to them, make them happy and you'll be happy. You are going to a new culture, so learn to adjust and accept. Both of you have regular worship in the morning and evening. Keep God first and respect Him and He will make your life respectable and blessings will follow. God bless you all. Thank you. Hi, Bubbly. Bubbly and Jojo, I wish you all the best and good luck on your marriage. I'm very glad to talk to you and say a great, great blessing for both of you on the auspicious occasion of your marriage. May God bless you abundantly and pour out the richest blessings from heaven above on this special day. Let you both be married very happily and live long, a healthy life and a married life. Myself and my family members, we all wish you the best in life. For you. May God bless you as you are getting married today. Thank you and be blessed. Congratulations, uh, Bubbly and Joe. May God bless you abundantly. Bubbly and Joe, wishing you a lifetime of love and happiness. May God shower his blessings upon you as you begin your new married life. God bless you. Congratulations, Bubbly. Congratulations. God bless you, dear. We are so happy to see you getting married today. And we wish you all the very best of life. And may all the blessings be on you. And 
a very big and tight hug to you from Amu, Kiran and Smita. Bye bye. Hi Bubbly Titi. I would like to bring greetings from Sri Lanka. I'm so happy to bless you and to congratulate you on this very special day in your life. I would like to share with you blessings from the scriptures which is found in Proverbs chapter 31 verse 10 to 12. It says, Who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above rubies. The heart of her husband doth safely trust in her, so that he shall have no need of spoil. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. May the love that has brought you two together cement your love forever. May you grow all together and enjoy the long happy company of each other in the presence of God. This day will be forever remembered in your life. And I cannot be a happier to be witness this wondrous occasion with you too. Enjoy the happy moment of your wedding day as much as you can. Enjoy the joy of being united with each other in the presence of God. Wishing you a glorious ceremony with an abundance of wonderful memories to follow. Congratulate to both of you finding your life partners on this happy day. I hope you know that we all love of your friends and well-wishers have been impatiently and eagerly waiting for this special day to come. We hope that today and the rest of your life together is nothing but a grand success. We hope that this special day will be a memorable day for you and for me too. I miss you so much and may the love of God and His abundant blessings with you and your life partner. May God bless you and hope to see you again. God bless you. I'm really happy to wish you on this special day. Um, our beloved Didi. Congratulations and may God bless you on your uh, eternal commitment. I could not be present uh, because of the current situation, because of the COVID-19. I really miss your marriage and we really miss you too uh, and your family. Anyway, congratulations once again and may your life uh, be filled with never-ending love for one another. Wish you a happy married life to Mr. and Mrs. We all love you, Didi. We all really love you. Love you so much. May God bless you and your family. Congratulations, dear Mona and Joe, for your future life. Wish you all the best. God bless you. And always live for each other. Jojo, my dear brother, wish you tons of happiness and love in this journey forward. Best wishes for a happy married life, dear. Hi everyone, this is Pramod from Dubai. I am Jojo senior in the graduation college. Hi Jojo and family, wish you a happy married life. Enjoy. Hello. Maja Kurun and Maja Sampurna Paribada Kurun Tumala, Navajo Kupkup Shubhacha. We wish you a very happy married life with all the success and prosperity. God bless you. Hey Joe, uh, wishing you joy, love, and happiness on your wedding day and as you begin your new life together. Congratulations to the beautiful couple and wishing you a wonderful journey together. All the best. Hi Joe, I am very happy to greet you for your marriage function. I wish you a very happy married life 
May God bless you with peace and happiness always. Wish you a very happy married life. Thank you. Hi. Uh, congratulations, sir, on your marriage. I wish you not only a happy day, but an entire life full of fun and enjoyment. Being married is like going through the seasons. Every day is different, but you enjoy them all because they are filled with love. Again, my heartfelt congratulations, my dear Jojo. Hello, Jojo. Uh, thank you for inviting me to your special day. As you start your uh, new journey of life, I wish you a happy married life. Best wishes to you and to your new life partner. May this day be uh, with glorious ceremony and full of wonderful memories to remember for years to come. And may God uh, fill your married life with all his grace, joy, happiness, and blessings. Congratulations once again. Shedding loads on us of prayer. Merciful, kind, and loving Father, the Lord in heaven. Thank you, Lord, for bringing us together and having a fellowship with thee in this morning. The Lord with the children and they had a marvelous time with thee at the church. And they united with the law of matrimony. Not only for this world, but the world. Lord, we are here to represent, to celebrate, and to extend our love and happiness to them. So that they can be a better couple in this world and also the world to come. We submit our hearts before the Lord as we represent and share our love and affection with these children. May the spirit of the Lord be upon them so that they can enjoy their life. From the beginning of this day till thy comes in the clouds of heaven. We submit our hearts before the Lord as we dedicate our time and space in thee. May the Spirit of the Lord be 
upon each one of us. And also we pray for the presence of the Holy Spirit to each one of us so that we will enjoy in the we ask these blessings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Oh my God. Hindi <laughs> Good evening, Good evening everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. First, first of all, I would like to congratulate the new demanding couple. May God bless you a lot. And I welcome uh, the family. And uh, First of all, I would like to thank uh, the Lord Jesus Christ. And I am very happy to be here. I am very So, first, keep faith in each other. Vishwas is very So, Vishwas is very and be transparent. Okay, so be transparent, have faith in Jesus Christ, and God will bless you. And uh, parents say that is most important. And uh, I families made them to join together. 
the two families are in two different cultures. One from south, other one from maybe the middle of north. The culture will not make people to happy, but the living relationship with the both the family always will make joy and happiness. So I request my son. It is not important to take care of us first, but it is more important to be with the family more time. And also, I would like to request my daughter-in-law. It is not the time to leave her family. Instead, to share her life always with the family. She also must understand the day that she joined with us, she cannot deny us too. Because we are a great blood relation started from today. That has to proceed till the Lord comes. And also somebody already mentioned the love and the care. Actually without love, there's nothing can accomplish in their life. They must have a pure longing, love relationship with each other. Many more, to, you know, I wanted to say, but I wanted to just to close off the one thing. If you are not continue your life without prayer, and in accordance with reading the Bible and joining the understanding the motivation and the life that Jesus has shown through the words of scripture, it cannot be a successful life. Every day, start with the life, start with prayer. And the day in with prayer. There may be in and out in their life, but sharing is more important. If they don't share, then unnecessary issues may come in their life. So, better to avoid certain things which. You know, as a family, sometimes husband has some and the Lord, by the time the wife may have to blow down. Tell him not to sit there. When the wife has some anger or some issues, the husband may have to blow down. There, it can be paralyzed their life. Such kind of levelized life if they have. The motivation of life and also their future life will be a successful one. So I request my son to join together with your wife and my daughter. I am just requesting your wife with your husband Jojo. May share that may be happy in the beginning and also the time from the end. I'm so happy. We are just, uh, you know, we came from to join with you. And I'm very happy to be with you this night to express our gratitude 
love and affection to the people, those who are here, and to share our accomplishment of life to the new brothers. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.